So every year in Call of Duty, we see a few select weapons that stand well above the rest. For instance, the Maddox and the Sog back in Black Ops 4 were two of the most dominant weapons all year long. And this year is no different as we definitely have some weapons that dominate the current meta. But we do have a pretty large arsenal this year, which means a lot of weapons in this game get overlooked for the best of the best like the M4 and the MP5. So today we're all about the underdogs and we're breaking down the four best off meta weapons to use right now. But before we jump into that, if you are new here, or if you happen to be a part of the 82% of viewers who are not subscribed, since I know a ton of you are checking out the videos for the first time, first off, hey hi, how you doing? Secondly, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty. And of course, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And now let's get into the best off meta weapons to use here in Modern Warfare. So first and foremost, let's start things off with one of the best off-meta SMGs to use in the game, that being the P90. Now for the SMGs this year, the MP5, the AUG, and the MP7 are probably the three best and most favored weapons by the community, whereas the P90 is not nearly as popular, which honestly kind of surprises me because this thing is seriously good when it comes down to it, as it has a decent damage, some very controllable recoil, a high rate of fire, and great mobility being that it is an SMG after all. So honestly, it does feel like a very well-rounded weapon. Of course, it is going to be the most efficient in close quarters combat, but medium range, it can still hold its own, as the damage, range, and recoil are all pretty good, as I said. Long range, obviously it is going to struggle a bit more, but... Most of the SMGs will as well, so that's not really a huge knock against it. But what I've found to be the best about the P90 is the fact that it is so good for objective-based modes if you are a player who likes to play around the objective areas because it can clear rooms and choke points with ease. Now, my go-to setup here starts with the Forge TAC Retribution Barrel as it helps increase the range and the control of the weapon, which is actually going to make it even more consistent outside of those CQC engagements. I then also use the TAC Laser, this is an attachment that I've been using a lot lately because its increase to the ADS speed is really key, but it also helps with the overall control of the weapon as well, so that's another pretty big bonus there. Then I've got the GI Mini Reflex, because I do find the iron sights to be a bit rough to use in medium and long range fights, so this allows me to be a bit more accurate all around. I also have the Fly Strap stock on there as it helps with the mobility, and last, but most certainly not least, I've also got the stippled grip tape as well. So with all of those attachments on the P90, one, the uh, the weapon looks kind of weird. That barrel definitely changes the look of the weapon pretty drastically. But as far as the performance goes, you can't really ask for much more as you get an increased accuracy, range, mobility, and control with no major decreases being shown there. So you take the P90 and essentially turn it into a weapon that can excel in a ton of close and medium range fights. And without a doubt, this setup and weapon in general isn't incredibly popular, but its effectiveness is top tier in my own opinion. Moving on from the P90 though, getting into the next off meta weapon you should be using, we have the SCAR, which is an assault rifle that is actually incredibly powerful, but it's not nearly as agile or as rush friendly as some of the others, like the M4, the RAM, and even the M13. But that's not to say we can't change that with the right setup equipped. My first attachment here is going to be the Forge TAC 17.2 inch LB barrel, which ends up increasing the control and the range. Then I've got the FSS close quarters stock, as that is going to help up the mobility. We've also got the operator foregrip to help with the overall recoil control, as the SCAR definitely has some pretty noticeable kick to it. Then to close out the setup, I've got the combination of the stippled grip tape and sleight of hands, which is going to end up increasing the mobility of the weapon, while also upping that reload speed, which I think is very important, because the stock SCAR magazine is pretty small, I believe it carries 20 rounds, and while the fire rate is not the fastest in the world, you do end up having to reload pretty often, so being able to reload fast is a huge benefit to have. So with this setup, once again we end up with a stat sheet that features no decreases whatsoever, as the accuracy, the range, the fire rate, the mobility, and the control all end up increasing, and the only untouched stat there is going to be the damage, which remains the same. So our base scar is a little slow, it's heavy, it's got some pretty nasty recoil, and this setup takes that scar and turns it into a weapon that can be used in all types of engagements, even with a more aggressive playstyle, and still completely dominate the opposition. 
The Scar as is, is one of the strongest rifles we have in terms of sheer power, as it is a pretty consistent 3-4 shot kill it feels like in most scenarios. And with that added control and accuracy we have with this setup, it is a lot easier to actually hit those shots, and in turn seemingly erase the enemies as they appear in your sights. So in general, this is definitely a setup that I would recommend you check out. Now jumping into our next off meta setup, this time around we're using the FAMAS or the FR556, which I think is really overlooked because of the fact that it is a burst weapon, not a fully auto rifle like most of the other ARs we have available. Obviously a burst weapon is not nearly as effective in close quarters engagements, and its overall mobility can suffer because of that fire rate. But with a bit more of a defensive playstyle, or by simply limiting your engagements to more range-based fights, this weapon can be a serious phenom in-game. Now, my go-to setup here starts with the FR 24.4-inch sniper barrel, which ultimately allows the FAMAS to be even more lethal in medium and long-range fights, with its range, control, and bullet velocity increases. We then once again have the GI Mini Reflex for the same reasons as before, followed by the FR Ultralight Hollow Stock as that helps with the ADS speed, the Ranger Foregrip for better accuracy and control, and the Stippled Grip Tape for even more increases to the mobility. This setup is one that will have you consistently killing in 1-2 bursts, and I was genuinely surprised at just how effective it really is. As you can see, the accuracy, the range, the mobility, and the control all increase, and this is yet another class that offers no visible decreases with the stats. So honestly, you can't really go wrong with it. I found this class to be extremely efficient in ground war, where a lot of the engagements are more distance based, as that is really where this weapon excels the most. Close range, yeah sure you can get some nice kills if you get a lucky burst and happen to hit all your shots, but comparatively, fully auto weapons are likely going to win those fights the majority of the time. However, the accuracy and the control you have with the FAMAS here is ultimately highlighted by those longer distance gunfights, where you can easily gain the upper hand due to all the increased stats we have with this setup equipped. Then, getting into our final off meta setup for today, here we have the Odin, which is actually the strongest assault rifle out of all the ones we have available right now. But with that power comes a whole lot of drawbacks in terms of ease of use. The Odin has a very, very slow fire rate and an absolute ton of recoil, but with the right setup you can kind of help combat some of the cons this weapon has at its core, and really turn this thing into a powerhouse of a rifle that can shred through anyone and anything. The first attachment I use here is the Odin Factory 730mm barrel, which is going to help with the recoil and the range once again. Then I've got the TAC laser to help this weapon be a bit more viable with a rushing playstyle, followed by the Cronin LP945 mini reflex, which is yet another sight that I do enjoy using. I've also got the rubberized grip tape for once, as this also helps with the recoil too. However, the granulated grip tape is also a solid option for some more defensive players. Then, to round things out, I've also got the sleight of hand weapon perk again, since the magazine size is also pretty small on the Odin as well. Now, conveniently enough, and to match up with all the other setups we've looked at today, this is another one that features no stat decreases once it's all said and done. And instead, the accuracy, the range, the fire rate, the mobility, and the control all end up increasing, then the damage remains untouched. So you end up with an Odin class that can get 2-3 shot kills on a pretty regular basis, and quite frankly, after you learn that recoil pattern, you can use this thing almost as a sniper in a sense with just how good its range and damage actually are. Now, as I said in the intro, the M4, the MP5, and a handful of other guns are easily the favorites this year, but just because those weapons are the real meta weapons for now, doesn't mean they are the only viable choices. And honestly, when it comes down to it, all of these off-meta weapons can definitely hold their own in a variety of gunfights. So, with all of that being said, those are the four best off-meta weapons to use here in Modern Warfare, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you simply found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And of course, if you are new here and you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, including all the latest news and intel, updates and leaks, and pretty much everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when I post a new video. As always, if you do want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found down in the description below, and once again, thanks so much for tuning in. 
Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.